This is Dr. Caldwell Miller, Dr. Miller's Guide to Neurology. Today we're going to talk about Nurtec. And Nurtec is one of the new G-Pants, one of the new class of drug we use for migraine. They're not at monoclonal antibodies, they work intracranially and they don't cause vasoconstriction, so don't have the real risk of heart attack um, like you know, triptans do. You know, Nurtec, you know, I hate to say one is my favorite, but maybe my favorite because we've used it so much. It was one of the first ones to come out, and you can use it symptomatically, and it's just come out to be used prophylactically. It's an orally dissolving tablet you put under your tongue, let it dissolve, and then swallow it with your spittle. Um, you can use it once a day, PRN, symptomatically, or you can use it every other day prophylactically. Very, very useful medication. 50% reduction of severe migraine days, which is pretty huge. And I'm not sure we haven't seen slightly higher than that. Um, it does not cause medication overuse headaches. So we may even use it for medication overuse headaches to try to break that cycle. Um, side effects, you know, nausea, indigestion, main side effects, some stomach pain, sometimes a little bit drowsy, um, sometimes nasal pharyngitis. can really cause a life-threatening allergic reaction, rash, uh, swelling around the face, throat, dizziness, trouble breathing. Uh, I'll mention this. We've used this for a couple of years. We've not seen an allergic reaction, haven't known a doctor that's had an allergic reaction. I only mention it because it's sort of in the face and head and, you know, with all this cold symptom, people run to the grocery store and get a COVID test and COVID's positive whether they have COVID or not. If you're on Nurtec, you need to go see your doctor and make sure you're not getting early allergic reaction to it and just stop it. Um, we have not had this happen, but it, it scares me enough that we want to mention it. Um, you know, one problem with uh, Nurtec is it's metabolized by CYP3A4 enzyme, and I don't really know what that is. It's just an enzyme metabolizes it. It's very complicated. I mean, I've read this over and over. I have a hard time keeping up with it. And I think the bottom line, when you put someone on Nurtec, you need to review all their medications and check this list of drugs. So drugs that are strong CYP3A4 inhibitors, you know, they, in, you know, in, uh, raise the drug level. So you have to be careful with these. And we don't use a lot of these, you know, the, the antifungal drugs, um, macrolite antibiotics, um, you know, so we have some drugs that are moderate inhibitors, you know, like verapamil we do use, we use this for migraine, Cipro, an antibiotic. Um, so it's interesting, grapefruit juice, so you shouldn't drink grapefruit juice. And if you do, just don't use the second dose for 24 hours. Um, you also have to reduce the dose, the dose with um, some of the inhibitors and um, inducers, you know, you have to increase the dose, and we just don't recommend using the drug with like all the anticonvulsants that are inducers, so CYP3A4, like phenotoin, which is dilant, integritol, barbitch, which were fampin. Interesting, St. John's wort, so don't take St. John's wort. They reduce the efficacy. So the package insert, so just don't use this seizure drug. So I find that interesting. But if you, if you do realize they may not work as well. So this is sort of a rare thing that you know, we deal with because most of our patients are pretty healthy. But if you put people on Nurtec, just look at their medicine list and see if any of these medicines are on it. You just have to look it up every time. So huge advantage of this drug is that you can take it symptomatically or prophylactically. Um, and it doesn't cause medication overuse headaches. Um, so that's Nurtec. Um, subscribe to my channel, like my channel. Um, you know, make any comments you want to make, and we're going to continue to talk for now about headaches and all the different problems in neurology.